How's it going today, guys? So today I'm gonna be doing a review of Cobblestone's Indulge Vanilla Custard. Uh, this is a vanilla scented aromatic pipe tobacco. It smells pretty good. Um, to be honest, I've never really done one of these videos. This is my first one. This is my first video on this channel, but uh, I, I got a new order in from, um, what is it called? Tobaccopipe.com. I think that's what they're called. Tobaccopipe.com. Let me just, yeah, tobaccopipe.com. That's what they're called. So um, I usually buy all my stuff from them. There's not many stores <clears throat> where I'm from that sell pipe tobacco. I'm in kind of the New England area and there's not many. And um, if they do sell anything, it's really cheap, low, really bad stuff. Really bad stuff. Um, but this I'm going to be smoking today out of the, I think it's called a Let Freedom Ring or something like that. Cobble pipe from Missouri Meerschaum. This I'm going to be smoking out of. I got these pipes from the same website I mentioned earlier. And I think it was like $20 for a set of two. Um, six millimeter filtered pipe. I, I prefer the, the, this, the filtered. I, I know I might get some, some comment on that, some hate. But I, I feel like as a new beginner pipe smoker, the... I call them Scoobies, <laughs> but when you get Scoobies uh, or you get like the tobacco in your mouth, it kind of turns you off from the whole experience. And uh, really for me, I, I enjoy the flavor, the smell, um, the leaf. This is the overall kind of aspect of, of pipe smoking. So when I get the Scoobies, uh, it's, it's kind of a turn off for me. Um, and uh, so I, I prefer the filter. I feel like it helps with that a lot. It helps with the draw. It helps with everything. Um, this is all kind of cleaned up. But you know what I am going to do because I did smoke in it earlier is I'm going to take the filter out and just run a pipe cleaner through it because I always like to do that before I really try a new flavor. Um, I've been smoking a lot of the uh, Malto Dolce. Uh, and I must say for the pipe smokers, if you're looking for vanilla, um, my God, this is like the best. Uh, it's super delicious. I smoked a lot of it. I actually ordered a new can of it just because I know I'm going to go through it really fast. Um, so, and I just spilled tobacco everywhere as I was showing you guys that. Anyway, so I'm going to clean this up, make sure it's all clean and good to go. Um, I have other pipes that I've, I purchased, uh, some really nice ones. Um, but I, I kind of got turned on to the, the corn cob pipes and I strongly recommend them for all the pipe smokers out there. If you don't have one, get one. They're easy and they're cheap. Um, not a lot of care and they smoke great. I was super surprised at how good these, these pipes, um, smoked. All right. So, uh, cobblestone in, in, indulge. I got this and I honestly, I, I smelt it and I just kind of closed it up and I just kind of forgot about it. But it smells good. I'm going to open it up here as I flick tobacco everywhere. So it's definitely an aromatic, so it's going to be um, wet, I should say. Uh, it's not super wet, but you can definitely tell it's wet. And I, obviously, I opened it up, so. It's had time to dry, but um, I would say that's relatively relatively dry, if you can see that. It smells delicious. It smells good. All right, so we're good here. So I'm still learning on the, the packing method, but the way that works for me that I usually do is I will open this up and put my pipe over it and then sprinkle the tobacco on top of it. It's called the sprinkle method. There's tons of videos out there that explain it. I'm not going to, if you want to see me explain it, I will horribly explain it to you, but there's, there's better videos out there. So I'm just going to sprinkle, 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 tap, 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 gentle tap, gentle tap, get this kind of ready and kind of going and we'll review it together. We'll see what it, what it's like. If you have a cam can of it right now sitting with you. I strongly recommend to pack a pipe with me and we'll review it together, you know. I mean, already just opening the can, um, <clears throat> the room smells really nice. It's like lighting an incense almost. So that's it's all, that's it packed up and kind of ready to go. 
You know, you know, my luck. I'm gonna pack it horribly, and then in front of you guys, I'm gonna. It's gonna be a horrible light, and it's gonna be miserable. Cause that's always my luck. Always my luck. Um, you know, what? I'll set it like right here actually, so we can stare at it. And then... Look at that. That's cool. All right, so um, I, I, I do have matches. I got these from one of the pipes I got, the French pipes. Um, they're really long matches. I do like them a lot. I like them a lot. But uh, I just don't want to waste them. <laughs> but I'll use these for now just to kind of get into it. Here we go. Mmm, not bad. Mmm. Don't mind me as I kind of puff on this bad boy. I'm just trying to understand the, really the flavor profiles it has. So on the back of the can here, it says a coarse cut mixture of Burley, Virginia, and Black Cavendish with a buttery vanilla top coating. Now I've recently bought some Sutliff Black Cavendish and it's it's really good. I've actually recently realized that I'm, I'm a big fan of Black Cavendish. Some people might not like it, it's not for them. But that's a whole journey of pipe smoking is we as, as a pipe smoker, we find uh, the kind of flavor we like. And personally for me, um, I like the sweet. So that's why I like the malted dolce. And I know I'm going to get some hate on that, but I really do enjoy If you're looking for a vanilla, you can't beat this one. You just simply can't beat it. But with this one, you really do get that vanilla. I'm definitely getting vanilla. There's... There's been pipe tobaccos that I've smoked where you, you don't get the vanilla. It says you get the vanilla. The reviews say you get the vanilla. You, do, you do not get the vanilla. You smell it, but you don't taste it. There's a huge difference. You can smell it or you can taste it. See, I'm still trying to get a tongue, like a feel for the, the difference between Burley and Virginia. But I can definitely, if I were to assume, because I've I bought in some Virginias recently, I, I would assume that you can taste the Virginia in this, but you really get that black Cavendish. You get hit with that black Cavendish. I think the black Cavendish, I think it overpowers it a little bit. But that's fine for me. I like it. I would recommend this. If I were to say, like, if you're looking for something a little less than Molto Dolce and you want a little bit more tobacco, um, I'd recommend this one. And I've tried a few other different vanillas, and honestly, I would say that this one is probably second runner-up, my favorite. But I would like to hear your recommendations. I mean, we all, like, that's the thing about pipe smoking. It's, everyone's different. Um... In fact, I'd, I'd like to see if someone found someone that's more tasteful and uh, pungent than Molto Doce. I'd like to see that. Um, I'm, I'm new to it, so I'm still learning myself. Um, in fact, I'm getting ready to go to, uh, what's it? We're going to Washington, D.C. We're doing a road trip, me and my fiance, to Washington, D.C., Pennsylvania, uh, and Virginia. 
And it's funny how it worked out because when I order my stuff from tobaccopipes.com, it comes out of Richmond, Virginia. So I can only imagine how many shops there are in that area that have pipe tobacco. So it's going to be really cool to go down there and maybe browse. Ah, uh, where did I leave off? I hit the camera and um, the whole camera stand has got all crazy. So I apologize for that. But I'll say it again, but me and my fiance are going on a road trip. We're going to Washington, D.C., Pennsylvania, and Virginia, and all that cool stuff. We're going to see uh, Gettysburg and all that cool stuff and see the cherry blossom trees in Washington, D.C. And I, I told her, I said, it's going to be perfect time for me to try out cherry-flavored tobaccos. That'll be a good scent, good flavor for when I'm down there. So that's going to be my time where I kind of experiment with cherry tobaccos. But for now, I really just wanted to kind of get the vanilla down. You know, I feel like with pipe smoking, there's so many flavors. You don't really know where to go. And um, for me, the reason why I got into pipe smoking is because I was originally a cigar smoker. But the one cigar that I... I'm very into I couldn't find it anymore I think it's out I don't I don't think they make it anymore but it was a vanilla cigar that was dipped in molasses and it was like the sweetest most delicious to, like cigar I've ever had and I couldn't find it so I just remember the smell of pipes being always super sweet and I was like well if I can't find that I mean it might not be a bad idea to look at some pipe tobacco. I didn't realize how how limited we were in New England for the shops, so uh, that's the one downside. I, I, I joke about it to my fiance. I say, you know, if I really do get into this hobby, that's the one thing I wanna open up is my own pipe store. Because I, I think it, it's something that needs to be brought back. But I forgot where I was going with this. Oh yeah, that's why I got into pipe smoking. So I went to a cigar shop and uh, they had some they had some pipes and some some tobacco and I, I dabbled with it and then I found the the website that I always go to. I recommend this. I'll put the link in the description below. Is tobaccopipes.com. But um, going back to the indulge, I I, I really would recommend this. I'm actually gonna read some of the reviews here. Not the reviews, but this is more of like the overall description of it. I know I kind of said what was on the can, but I mean, obviously the brands is, is cobblestone. The blend's an aromatic. That's not, I, I said that in the beginning. Uh, it's a black Cavendish in Cavendish in Virginia, but on the can here, it says Burley. So it's funny that I'm looking at the website and earlier I said that all I can taste is the Cavendish. Because on this website it just says Cavendish in Virginia. And those are the two things that I could probably taste. I don't really smoke Burley's. So I don't really know what a Burley tastes like. Uh, it's a coarse cut. And they say that the strength is mild. The flavoring is medium to strong. The taste is mild. Mild to medium. Medium. And the room notes are very pleasant. I will say the room notes are very pleasant. I will say that the flavoring of Malto Dolce and the reason why I just keep... This is like the one that I go back to because this is like the one that I... Now that I know what a vanilla tobacco is, this is the one I go to. So this is... The, the taste of this is strong. Like the flavoring of this one is strong. And I will say that this is equally up there. You can definitely taste the vanilla. Let me know what you guys think about this. Everyone's taste buds are different, so everyone's going to have a different opinion about it. Apologize if you hear any background music. Vaca school vacations out, I guess.
It's not as sweet as the other vanillas that I've been smoking, but the vanilla is there. I really like that. It's very subtle. It doesn't hit you in the face. You can taste the tobacco. It's a little bit more than this one too, the Mobile Dolce, which is which some people would like because that's that's one reason when people don't like this one is because it's so heavily flavored that people don't like it. Again, this is my first video I've done on this channel, so I plan on definitely making more pipe review videos um, and more tobacco reviews. Um, I have a ton of ton of tobaccos that I've been meaning to get to making a video for. But I've just been so busy that I, ha I haven't really had the time. Busy's good though. Busy's good. But as you can see with this Let Freedom Ring Pipe, I haven't had it relight it once at all. I can talk to you guys, have a sip of beer, go back to the pipe, and it's back. And that's why I like these. There's a lot of the times when I'm, I'm I mean, maybe when I was a beginner pipe smoker, I mean, I'm still a beginner, but when I was really a beginner, maybe I should have just got one of these and not one of the, the French ones. So... That's kind of one of my advices I would give to beginners is go with the cop, go with the the cob pipes. They're they're really beginner friendly. You can work your way up to, you know, Sabinelli and Peterson pipes. I'm out. But that's okay, because that's why that's why I like to enjoy the pipe. Relight it. It's not the end of the world. Actually, this is a good time to ash. You know, see, you don't want, you don't want an ashy flavor, so just kind of take that check tool and just kind of take the pokey, poke it around, do a little tap tap. So that's that's kind of where we're at. Uh, you can't see that at all. Do we like? Now, obviously, people are gonna say, "Well, how can you how can you do a, a flavor profile if you this is your first time smoking it?" Um, that's a good that's a good point. But you want to know what I'll say is a lot of the times when I when I'm watching YouTube videos of people doing pipe reviews or tobacco reviews is the first smoke matters i think the first smoke matters more than the third or the fourth or at the end of the can because the first smoke is what initially makes us pipe smokers like it and i would say off the off the first smoke this is a really good tasting really good tasting tobacco um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, feel free to give it a like and a subscribe. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm new to making these kind of videos, but hey, who knows? I, I might make some more. I don't know. There's already tons of videos out there, but really I'm probably just going to be doing tobacco reviews because I don't really see many of those. Um, but I hope you found this useful. And if you did, uh, feel free to leave a comment and tell me what your favorite vanilla flavored, uh, pipe tobacco is. I'd love to, love to see what you guys think. And, uh, have a good one smoking, have a good smoke sesh, and uh, keep being chill. And until next time, have a good one.